If you've ever struggled coming up with new and fresh color combinations, this video is for you. Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca Keppel and this video is part of the Katherine Pooler Swatch It Like It's Hot YouTube Hop. In today's video, I'll be using Katherine Pooler's brand new swatching supplies to create color swatches for the inks that I have and to share how to use their color wheel to make up new and fun and fresh color combinations. So let's jump right in. First up, you can download the Katherine Pooler ink color wheels on their website. They have one for party collection and one for spot collection, and all the inks they have are in either of those collections. I don't have a great printer, so I printed mine at FedEx Kinko's and laminated them. So you get three sheets. One is the spot collection color wheel, one is the party collection color wheel, and one is the center of the wheel that you turn to create the different color combinations. So I'm using my Spellbinders tool in one to poke a hole through the laminated and heavy cardstock that I had them print. Just be careful, don't poke your hand. But once you get holes in all of the centers, then you can just use two brads, one to connect one of the small wheels to the spa collection wheel, and then one to collect to connect one to the party connection. Then you can see how easily it turns, especially because it's laminated. And I know it's gonna last me a long time that way, but obviously you can can just print it on regular paper if you want. Now, once I have my wheels, I want to look at the color swatch stamp set. So you can see that the color swatch stamp set has names like triad, tetrad, monochromatic, analogous, complementary, and those are all represented on the color wheel as well. So when you're using the color wheel, you can use it in combination with this swatch set. And then there's also shapes to swatch out your basic colors as well. Then we have the ink families stamp set. Now this uh, represents all of the ink families within the two collections. Things like Date Night, which is one of the families that I own. And then there are the Party Colors stamp set. This represents every single color that is within the party collection. And then you also have that nice little oval that you could use as a stamp swatch as well. This is the Spa Colors stamp set. Again, you have a little heart to swatch, and then you have all the names of the inks within the spa collection. This is the ink swatch tag die, and you can see that it cuts out that oval from the ink swatch stamp set perfectly, and then also cuts out a base with a ring. And there's also, I used layered tag dies to create my swatches. So I used one of the layered tag dies here to cut out. Now, when you're swatching just your basic colors, you wanna try and use the paper that you normally stamp on. So I normally stamp on Nina Solar White, so I am going to stamp on that for all of my ink swatches. These are the four new colors that were just released. Once I had all my colors swatched out, I did put them in Roy G. Biv order, but I wanted to make sure they were in the order of the color wheel itself. So you can see that I'm stacking them up on top of each of the sections of the party collection color wheel so that I can make sure I have them in the right order. And then once I did that, I did place them on a binder ring. And I used this square, the small square at the bottom, to stamp out all of my Catherine Pooler inks. And I'll do this as I get new ones as well. I'll just add them to this swatch ring. And that gives me an idea of what these inks look like when they're stamped out. Because every type of ink drives back a little bit, right? Catherine Pooler inks really stand up nicely and are bright and crisp and true, but everything drives back a little bit. Okay, I also wanted a swatch book of ink blended swatches because I love the way that Catherine Pooler inks blend. So I blended out all of the inks and then I used the swatch tag die to cut out that small oval and then I cut out a bunch of white pieces of cardstock with the larger shape that has the little ring attached. On the back of that, I used the same color to stamp the name using the spa or the party collection 
names stamp set. And then I just adhered the little swatch to the front. So I have all the colors on the front and then the names of the colors on the back. And then once again, I have an entire look at all the colors that I have of ink when they're blended out because it is a slightly different look when it's blended than when it is stamped. So it's really nice to have both swatches at the hand, at the ready, so that you can just say, okay, I wanna blend these colors together or I want to stamp these two colors together and I have everything here to show me what I wanna reach for. Now that I know all the colors that I have, they're swatched out, they're blended out, I wanna use the color wheels to create some fun color combinations that I wouldn't normally create myself. Usually we have a couple of color combinations in mind that we like to work with and we stick to those and don't really work outside of them. So I have some of the little tag dies cut out and I'm going to stamp some of the different combinations that you can create. So I have analogous stamped several times secondary stamped several times. Complimentary over here was too large, but on this other side here, it is perfect for the tag that I chose. So just depending on how large of a tag book you want to create, you can create the largest tag and there's the larger stamps for that, or you can create something smaller that you can grab for that. So I'm looking at the color wheel and I'm very familiar with the inks that I have now because I just swatched them out. And that's another great reason to swatch your inks is just to know what you have. So I am looking at creating some type of color combination. I'm gonna create a tetrad this time. So basically you find the tetrad shape, you look at the arrows and where they're pointing, and then you use the colors from the same row on the color wheel to create your color combination. So I stamped out two of the colors so far. I'm gonna stamp the third color here. These are what they call secondary colors, and this is a color combination I don't think I've ever used before, so I'm super excited. Then you can take the ink colors stamp sets and you can stamp the names right on top of the color swatch. This way you know when you pick it up, Pucker Up, Orange Twist, and Melon Ice. That's a great color combination that will work because it's on the color wheel. So this is a very handy tool. I'm gonna do a triad this time, which is another three combination. And again, looking and at the color wheel, using the colors that you have and stamping them out really helps you to come up with new ideas. Again, this color combination, I would never have created on my own. You know I don't really work with purple, but I love how fresh and fun that is. Here's complementary. That's two colors right across from each other here on the wheel. So I'm gonna use a slightly larger rectangle to stamp those out. Analogous is four. So I'm gonna use a smaller rectangle to stamp those out. And again, you could use a larger tag die and then use the larger rectangles that come in that stamp set. So there's really a lot of options depending on how you wanna create, how many colors of ink you have, that sort of thing. And then again, just right on top, stamp the names of the colors. This way you have no question about what colors you're gonna reach for next time you're creating a new card and you want a fresh color combination. So again, here for the triad, I used that size rectangle. For the analogous, I used that smaller rectangle and I used all the names from that swatch stamp set. Also, I used the tag dies to create the tags and then the names to stamp right on top. So these new products all work really, really well together, both to get you familiar with the inks that you have and also to help you use those inks to create fresh color combinations. Okay, for any of the families that you own completely, so Party Collection and then Date Night is one of the ones that I own the entire family, you can create little swatches of those. And if you're curious what inks come in what families. You can just look at the Catherine Pooler website and I love to look, just look at the labels um, that come together so that I can just quickly and easily see all the colors in each family. So I am using that family stamp set to create a little family tag to show me 
the colors in that date night family and I just stamped the names of the inks right on top. I also have from the spa collection Paradise Found. I have that in minis and so I had almost forgotten that I had these because they were in a drawer. So I decided to bring them out with the rest of the ink pads but also stamp them out so that I can remember oh yes this is a great yellow or I really like this blue and works really well with this other ink that I also have. So swatching out your inks is by far I think the most helpful thing that you can do to really get to know your colors and then also to create fun color combinations. I hope you found a new color combination today or an idea of how to create your own. Don't forget there's lots of swatching inspiration along the hop and I'll have all the details in the YouTube description box below the video. Before you go don't forget to leave a comment down below because Catherine Pooler is giving away a hundred dollar gift card to their shop and with that you be able to buy a bunch of ink and swatch supplies. As always I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. That's like the fastest I've ever done one of these. <laughs> okay let's just fingers crossed I got everything because